Hello students, today we discuss about the genomics which is present in our molecular basis of inheritance chapter, chapter number 4. The genomics, the term genomic, genome is the total genetic constitution of an organism. Total genetic constitution of an organism. The total genetic constitution means then we are talking about the gene. Then gene is related to connected with the directly or indirectly with the DNA. Then DNA is directly is indirectly is connected with the gene or we can call as a chromosome. Then all these chromosome DNA they are related to the the material of genetic information and which type of information that is the genetic information that is that's why we need to study the genomics the term genomic is the total genetic constitution of an organism and every organism contain a genetic material you people know very well then alternatively it is a complete copy of genetic information complete copy of genetic information and what is that that is a dna that is we can call it that a genetic inform genetic material or we can also call it as a one complete set of chromosome right i told you it is a chromosome chromosome we study about in the cell division chapter in cell division chapter uh, in meiosis, we study about the, uh, we know about the chromosome and that chromosome play a very important role there. In the, with the help of that chromosome, with the help of that meiotic type of cell division, we found the genetic, in, uh, genetic uh, material, they are transferred from one generation to uh, another generation, they transfer genetic information from one generation to uh, another generation with the help of cell division and in that the chromosomes play a very important role there. They are in the form of monoploidy or haploidy. Then of an organism, okay, the set of chromosome of an organism. The term genomics is the study of genomes. The term genomics is the study of genomes through analysis, study of genome, but from where? From their analysis, the sequencing and mapping of genes along with the study of their function also, how they performing with this type of function or this study in the form in the genomics right understand then the several additional genomes are now either actively being sequenced or strongly considered for the sequencing these include several microbes every living organism every living thing they are include in the genomes they are uh, we can discuss about all every living organism can study in genomes right then like that that microbes also bee tomato and other crops genomic study may be classified into two types what are those the number one is structural genomics then this name of that genomics, that is structure, it include what they include, they involve mapping, sequencing, the, about the structure. That's why we need to mapping, study of mapping, then sequencing, then analysis of genomes. Understand? This is the function, this is about the structure of genome. And next is functional genome. Functional genome, they, they carry certain kinds of function there. 
and which are those it deals with the study of function of all gene sequences the gene sequences they are how they performing their function they are studied in functional genomes and their expression in organism how they are expressed inside the organism this that is a very important factor right then application of genomics then application about the uh, where they are applied where they are used where they are uh, very important to use there that's why the application is very important that's why uh, uh, we need to study there the application of genome structural and functional genome is used for different purposes right they are used at different purposes in the improvement of crops that is in crop plants human health and living stocks they are they are very much important to improve the crop plants why we need to improve crop plants because the growth of population this growing population need a food and the requirement of that food is is there is fulfilled with the help of these crop plants then there oh, what that uh, the need the need of to disease resistance plant to need a uh, high yielding capacity plants that's why the improvement of crop, crop plants is very much important human and human health also it is very important then and liver stock all these things are very they are very important there the knowledge and understanding acquired from genomics research can be applied in a number of different sectors right it includes medicine medicine is very important today's our uh, day our life is very stressful life and because of that our um, unnecessary habits also the for that and all the to improve the health of human beings then they need to study inside the medicine and for that genomics play a very important role in biotechnology and social science and so then these types of information this type of knowledge they are include in social science they play a very important role major role in uh, to improve the uh, our culture and our environment it helps in the treatment of genetic disorders this 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 point is very important because from generation to generation when we are observing the this one person is carrying some kinds of in, uh, genetic disorders and we can told or doctor also told that that this is a genetic uh, um, disorder and we can't we are helpless but because of the genomic uh, study the this kind of disorders we can we can remove from the uh, and we can improve the uh, human beings okay then with the help of which and how can they we, uh, improve that uh, we can genetic information through through the gene therapy right then genomes is used in agriculture to develop transgenic crops having more desirable character what do we mean by more desirable character desirable character what man needs or human needs or which type from the crop plants human needs a high yielding capacity crop then this is resistant of crop plants then and the life cycle is shorter that's why in a short period of span of life the crop plant give us a more plants that's why in crop in agriculture the genomes play a very important role and because of crop have more desirable we can include more desirable character there also the next is genetic markers developed in genomes having applications in forensic analysis forensic in forensic analysis 
they also uh, play a very important role. Genomics can lead to introduce new genes in microbes to produce enzymes. In selectivity, uh, no enzymes play a very important role. That's why the genomes can lead to introduce now new gene in microbes to produce enzyme. Then proteins and even biofuels also we, we our requirement of biofuels also fulfill there. Then next point is human genome project. So what is the human genome project? And why need of that you know, human why we need to study that human genome project? The Human Genome Project was initiated in 1990 under the International Administration of the Human Genomes Organization that is HUGO. This project was coordinated by the United Kingdom Department of Energy and National Institute of Health. International Partners in the in United Kingdom, that is, international partners are United Kingdom, then France, then Germany, Japan, India, and China. All these, they understand and they, they understand the importance of genome, the project, human genome project. For that, all these uh, various types of we. Uh, all these countries they are also participate and they are uh, they are help to improve the research inside there then uh, the human genome project formally being in 1990 they start in 1990 and was completed in 2003 the human genome project is a multinational research project Okay, because all countries they are involved there. That's why it is a multinational research project to determine the genomic structure of humans. The main aim of projects are, what is the pro aim of that projects? Like, then it is a mapping the entire human genome at the level of nucleotides. That is, nucleotide sequence, the nucleotide sequence, you people know the nucleotides we study about the nucleotides how the nucleotides they, they are combined to form a bead of um, and they are combined to form all the uh, DNA fragments how they are connect with each other in previous lecture we study about the nucleotides then to store the information collected from the project in database all the information all the research done they are stored in the form of database to develop tools and techniques for analysis of the data okay to develop technique to analysis for the analysis of data then transfer of the related te technology to the private sector such as industries uh, this transfer of information is important because uh, in the various industries when we are transfer this information then there is a lot of work is done there then taking care of a legal this is a very important point taking care of legal ethical and social issue which may arise from this project what kind what, what where will be their arisation of this kind of they are um, they are focusing on that uh, ethical and social issue. Okay, then HGP Human Genomic Project was closely associated with bioinformation. Then closely associated with the rapid development of new area in biology, right? Called a bioinformatics. The work of human genomics project has allowed researchers to be to understand the blueprint in building and constructing the human genomes. This is a very important factor. 
as researchers learn more about the functions of genes and proteins this knowledge will have a major impact in the field like medicine biotechnology and life sciences therefore agm is very important human genome project was provided a complete and accurate sequence of the 3 billion dna base pairs how much 3 billion base pairs that makes up the human genome in to find out the essential number of human genes now about 33000 genes have been estimated to be present in humans the secret of our complexity may lie not in the number of our genes but how we use them it will lead to the uh, understanding of gene structure and function in other species since we possesses many of the genes same as these of the in fly, flies round worms mice so study will lead to greater understanding of human evolution then the next point is finger printing then for that we need to we have a one diagram here to understand the dna fingerprinting now what is the dna fingerprinting the gene present on chromosomes genes where genes present genes present on a chromosome are responsible for determining character we in in this whole chapter we study about the gene and the certain characters transfer of character from one generation to another generation i told you in uh, previous lectures also what is that the gene present on chromosomes are responsible for determining characters of the organism which which are the characters that hair color eye color skin color all those characters they are transferred as as well as for inheritance of character also due to recombination of paternal okay paternal and maternal genes paternal and maternal you know it very well then genes we differ paternal means from the father maternal means from certain character transfer from the mother from certain character from the father that's why we uh, told as a paternal and maternal genes we differ from our parents differ also arise due to infrequent mutation mutation due to mutation there is a certain changes are observed there that occurs during gamete formation that is when when the cell division takes place at that time of cell division their mutation is arise or mutation takes place due to all these factors every individual has its unique genetic makeup every individual has his unique genetic makeup which may called as a fingerprinting every individual has its genetic makeup that's why we can identify it <coughs> so the technique developed to identify a person with the help of dna restriction analysis is known as dna polymorphism or dna fingerprinting the technique of fingerprinting was first given by british geneticist or dr ali in 1984 dna fingerprinting technique is based on rectification of nucleotide sequence you know that what is the nucleotides present in the in this wonder molecule about 99.9% of nucleotide sequence in all person is same only some short sequence of nucleotides differ from person to person in the population every person show unusual sequence of 22 
100 bass players which are repeated several times they are termed as a variable number of tandem repeats okay that is called that is also called as vntrs the length of the region having vntrs is different in such an individual and hence is the key factor in dna qualification step the dna qualification step involves various steps there in dna fingerprinting rh like uh, isolation of dna then restriction di digestion then j electrophoresis then southern blotting then selection of dna probe and hybridization and lastly photography this is all these things we can we can discuss with and we can understand with the help of this this diagram that is uh, which is present in our book also that is a dna fingerprinting this is first step is a uh, we take a sample a sample which kind of sample that is blood sample uh, hair sample where the dna or genetic material is present that every or root cells or the um, tissue all uh, tissue present inside the animal plants everywhere the where there is a cell is present that uh, that is we take as a sample then then from that sample if we take a blood sample from that blood sample we take a we extract a dna we extract that dna then it is called as isolation of dna what is that isolation of dna what we do that uh, uh, isolation the dna must be recovered from the cells or tissue of the body right i am already told you only small amount of tissue like blood hair roots skin it is is required for the isolation of dna then this is we take the sample then next is restriction digestion what happened there the isolated dna is treated with restriction enzyme then we take enzymes the restriction enzymes cut the dna into we take a restriction enzyme and we cut his dna into a small fragment here and they are variable in length they are variable in length thus phenomena is called as restriction fragment length polymer polymorphism here we take a dna with the help of restriction enzymes and we, we cut with the help of restriction and we, we uh, form a fragments okay then next is the gel electrophoresis the dna here we take a electrophoresis unit what happened there the dna sample are loaded for agricultural gel the electrophoresis under an electric influence under an electric influence the dna fragment which are negatively charged move to positive pole the moment of these fragments develop on length of the fragment this result formation of bonds this dna and split into ss dna by alkaline treatment we, we treat now in this on this fragment we treat on the s splits into ss dna by alkaline treatment this is the electrophoresis then next is southern blotting southern blotting what is southern blotting that is in their transfer of dna to membrane here we transfer the uh, dna but what happened there the separated dna fragment are transferred to nylon membrane or nitrocellular filters paper by uh, placing it over the gel soaking them with their paper overnight overnight we soak that material on and from there what we found the the selected single st standard dna well, they are uh, found there 
What we do there? The DNA probes is labeled with radioactive isotopes. We this this DNA fragment we include their their the label with their radioactive uh, isotopes there. Then the hybridization of DNA also uh, happened there. Then what is the hybrid in in this? We found the uh, hybridization also perform and lastly we we take it on a photography we placing on a photographic plate of with the help of x-ray what happened there the nitrocellular filter paper is photographed on x-ray x-ray film this is uh, placed on x-ray film by atography the film is analyzed to determine the presence of hybrid dna this DNA after the analysis we found there the hybrid DNA. Then the application of DNA. This is about the all details about the DNA fingerprinting, how they cut uh, with the help of enzymes on all this hybridization method, and after the X-ray formation uh, X-ray, we found a hybrid DNA there. Then application of DNA fingerprinting. What are those? In forensic science, DNA fingerprinting is used to solve problems to rape and some uh, complicated murder cases. There, this DNA fingerprinting plays a very really important role. Where, uh, in which cases? In, uh, in rape cases, in uh, murder cases. They take a sample of uh, hair sample, blood sample from that uh, site and they um, they use that to solve their, the problems of the criminal problems there then DNA fingerprinting is used to find out a biological father or mother or both of the child in case of dispute par um, parentages the dispute partners when we are uh, when any of um, mother or father they claim this child is mine then at that time this fingerprinting uh, play a very important role there and last is the DNA fingerprinting is used in pedigree analysis in cats dog horse and humans also then all this application is very important in human beings and they improve their life cycle they solve their problems with the help of this DNA uh, fingerprinting. This is all about our uh, all the chapter it, that is the molecular basis of inheritance and we study here uh, genomes then uh, human genomic project and DNA fingerprinting. Thank you.